No, so growing up, um, being sheltered and being protected, um, it has its ups and downs. Like, yeah. like, of course, like as a parent, like, you know, if you've, you know, having your first child, especially like if it's a, if it's a girl, um, it's, you know, they, they protect her, but only to like, not that much, as much as the years go by when you're, they're having more kids. Yeah. But having the first one, like they teach them the way that I see and how like looking back at it now, I'm just like, wow, my parents actually, well, my mom, because like I, I don't have a bond with my dad at all. Yeah. Um, so like, you know, watching my mom, um, you know, how my older siblings are, especially my sisters, is that the oldest one in my family would have been taught how to be the parent. You know, yeah. how to be a mother, like teaching them young to be like, look, you know, in the future, you might have younger siblings. So I'm going to have to teach you to be a mom. If anything, God forbid, if anything ever happened while my sister, you know, while my sister was still young, like at least she's ready to mother and show the love and affection that, you know, my mother or my, you know, my parents had shown on her so she can, you know, pass that on down to us. Um, because of course, as time goes by, your parents would just be like, oh, there's too many kids. We just don't want to show emotion to everyone and show them yeah. love. So I'm just going to be tough all the time, you know. But when I was um, when I was protected and sheltered, um, I was protected from, again, like some other people have, Tongan people, men and women have gone through, was I was protected from being myself. I was protected from learning the good and the bad. You know, I was mm-hmm. protected from... Um, from making mistakes and learning from my mistakes Mm -hmm. like I was deprived from that of course yeah um and you know and at first when you're at a young age you're just like okay I'm protected from everything I don't need to know anything I don't need to know everything you know I'm just gonna you know when I'm when I'm older they're gonna teach me hopefully but in our culture in our community in our Tongan community we have we are taught at a very young age you know how to do things and how to go about you know tongue in life actually yeah so yeah yeah so i think um so yeah they protected me from the outside world yeah, they didn't yeah. protect me from you know they didn't prepare me or anything for the outside world but they were preparing me for the tongue in world in a way they it, yeah it did work out but in a way it didn't so like they didn't prepare me for the fact that you know that I was going to be slut shamed as a woman or anything like that no yeah, they yeah. didn't um you know they didn't prepare me to be like hey you know um you will get you know there will be boys who will like you know whistle at you but don't react cuz you're not an animal yeah, you know you're not yeah, a dog yeah, but yeah. like you know they didn't you know they didn't um you know they didn't teach me that and this and that but what i've learned was that my mom actually prepared me and protected me to teach me how to be a woman how to be a Tongan woman in fact like you know she taught me how to cook she taught me how to clean she taught me how to you know you know do things that women would do like for women's house you know for when you're getting married and like you know she prepared me for that and stuff because if you look at it nowadays some women out here don't even know how to cook or clean like you know (laughs) like living living in a foreign country but yeah. being brought up, you know, it's it's hard when you're living in a foreign country and being brought up in a, in your culture because there are certain things that you can and can't do that abide by the law of that country. Yeah. So like, yeah. yeah so like, like you know, so like I said, like I was very protected. I was very sheltered, but it did, you know, they did teach me how, you know, how to be a woman, a Tongan woman and how to be a woman in general as well. But again, like I said, I was deprived from, you know, from thinking that I could be more than a Tongan woman. I was deprived from thinking that I could be more than just a mother, you know, that I could be more than just having to stay at home and cooking and cleaning for everybody in the family. You know, I was deprived from all of that. I was I was deprived from having my own dreams. I was deprived from, you know, from being able to step out and going to another country and finding myself and finding you know, things that I'm happy to do because I was just, you know, I was just at home going like, okay, school's finished, go back home. That's it. Sundays, wake up, go to church, you know, and stuff, you know, do the umu and stuff and then go to church, come back, 
you know, tufa me akai for everybody to eat mm-hmm. <laughs> and then cleaning up after that and then having a nap and then having to wake everybody else up, you know, all the kids up again, getting them dressed for Sunday school and stuff. So like, yeah, so like I, I was, I, I'm thankful. I'd say I'm thankful and blessed that they did protect me in a way because I think if they didn't, I don't know if it's every single, you know, if it's every single Tongan family or Tongan household, but yeah. me being protected is a good thing and a bad thing as well because, you know, not being able to, you know, to know the outside world, but it taught me my culture. Yeah. It taught me, you know, what Tongans are. It taught me to love and respect my culture and to put my culture into perspective with everything that I do in life. So in me saying that, like, I'd say being protected in my family um, was a good thing. Um, yeah. 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 You know, uh, no, I was just kind of just kind of just listening, analyzing everything, you know, um, like, like you said, there's a good, there's a good, there's a good, part, there's a good, there's an advantage and disadvantage, you know, for, for protecting somebody. And I love, I love yeah. how you said, it, you know, the great thing about being protected, you know, we learn about our culture. I think that's a good thing. Um, you learn about your heritage, you learn about the values, the traditions, we learn about our culture as, as a people. I guess the only thing I can say is that the one disadvantage of protecting too much, I, I feel like it's, I guess there's levels and degrees of when it comes to, you know, protecting because it's all, it's different yeah. for every family, different for every dynamic of whatever the, the family and how they raise their kids. But uh, I guess what I, you know, based on my own observation, uh, like you said, it, it because I was, I was protected a little bit to some degree, you know, as, you know, my, my you know, uh, I was raised in a very hardcore Tongan lifestyle, you yeah. know, if I, you know, die, if, it, if I did this, you know, uh, yeah. even though as guys, we, we still let, we still did our own thing, but, you know, my, I was raised by my grandma, but my grandma was really hardcore, like very strict mm-hmm. um, when it came to raising us. So, but, but I feel like, um, you know, growing up now and in, 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 in in we're in a newer generation in, in this time of our society, I feel like that um, the one thing that's, that prevents kids from really growing is because we don't kind of prepare themselves. I think that's one disadvantage yeah. because if we don't pre- prepare them for real life, like you said, I think one thing you said was like failure. We don't allow them to experience things so they can fail, right? Yeah. Because, you know, uh, I think that's something that we need to teach kids. It's okay to fail. <laughs> yeah. That is right. true. That is it's true. okay and but the thing is if we don't allow them to fail uh we never teach them the ability of of perseverance of overcoming yeah. of you know persistence you know having that grit uh but then when we grow up in, in real life and we actually go in the real world and fail for the first time and then it's it's harder to fail as an adult than to fail <laughs> as a kid I, you know what I'm saying? as a kid yeah. as a kid and we fail you know it's not a big deal it's not you know it is what it is but if you've never failed your whole life growing up as a tongue in, as a Tongan or a woman yeah. or man, and you go to real life and you fail as, as an adult, there, that is a whole different pressure. And that, and, is, and it that is. you're gonna get when you fail as, as an adult. And uh, I think that's, I think, I mean, I guess for everybody it's different, but I think that's for me, that's, I, I can see it. Yeah, I'm glad that I was in that pressure. Yeah, I was, I, for me, I think I was glad that, that there was sheltering in, in some type of sheltering, sheltering in my life because I did learn about my culture. Uh, you know, my Tongan my mm. heritage, you know, my my, my, my yeah. life, you know, but yeah, but MMT, guys, MMT. <laughs> MMT, baby. Um, <laughs> but I felt like that, you know, when I when I when I went to the real world, um, I made a lot of mistakes. I'm not gonna lie, I made a lot of, a lot of mistakes. I made a lot of stupid mm-hmm. mistakes. That's why I'm very so grateful, you know, to God because. There were a lot of things I did that if I would have, if, if man, if, if things would have turned out worse, I would have been locked up right now. I would have been in prison. I would have been done like some hard time. You know, it's just we just I made I made some I made some stupid. You know, we all go make some stupid mistakes. So yeah, of course. Um. So, but I just felt like man, if I would have, you know, if I would have known about it, then um, then I would have made a better decision. But I feel like yeah. that's what happens when, um, when we don't prepare our kids for real life, they just left. Um, to the mercy of the real world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, they uh, are and, and you're just hoping for things to work out well. But yeah. why don't we? Why don't we give the t- the kids the tools they need, the, you know, and the skills they need, so they can go out to the real world, still be a proud Tongan, you know, still be a proud Tongan. Yeah, of course. And still and be proud of themselves. But now they know what to do in real life situations, and I feel like that's what 
a lot of kids, you know, if you, if you go to real life and you don't have no idea how to handle real life, that's why you, then you're just prone to make a lot of decisions. And I feel like let's, let's, let's try to lessen that in the next generation. Yeah. So yeah, that way the next generation, you know, they don't make the decisions that we made. Um, now they make smarter decisions and hopefully they can create a better life. And they're still going to make mistakes along the way. But, you yeah, know, that's, that's, that's part of life. But they don't have to make, we don't have to keep making the same mistakes. Yeah, you know? that is true. Exactly. Yeah. We don't have to all keep going to jail. You know, we don't have to all, you know, keep, <laughs> you know, having teen pregnancy, you know. Like, yeah. you know, like, like, you know, like we don't have to, like these things I see within our community and culture that keeps happening um i feel like that can be avoided if we teach our kids you know like pregnancy if we can teach our kids yeah. about sex we teach them about sex they, they know what to do when they go in there yeah. if you don't teach them yeah. about sex and then they just go have sex they don't know <laughs> <laughs> and then babies yeah. come out early you know so yeah so, but yeah <laughs> you know and, you know and alcohol drugs and like i said just teach i feel like we just need to Ex, no, not exposed, but just let them be aware of what the real world is. Let them experience it. Yeah. Uh, instead of sheltering uh, them so much to the point that uh, that it's you know it's uh, you're just hoping as a parent that they're gonna do, do well. Do well. Gonna, and, uh, yeah. yeah exactly. No, yeah. I agree with you. Yeah.